last year, I had a dream. Actually, I had three dreams that same night. And the same dreams I had only a few months before. Well, this dream happened the end of last year. And as I slept, I dreamed that Jesus came and visited me. And he came and visited me and he said that, that you're going to go back, Stephen, you're going to go back to the U.S. And I'm going to call something to happen in the world that will make it so that you cannot return to Asia. That it will be a long time before you can return to Asia again. Well, I had this dream and I woke up and I got to thinking about it. And I said, huh, what, what is God going to do? Um, okay, Lord, it's, it's, in, it's in your hands. I, I'll, I'll submit and, and uh, you know, thank you for that dream. Well, I soon forgot about this dream and, and, and I didn't remember it until the whole international air flight traffic got shut down because of coronavirus. Then I was reminded of this dream. Well, that same night, I dreamed a second dream. And in that second dream, I was there along a seashore, out along the ocean. And you could look, and as far as you can see, you can see the beautiful ocean. But as I stood there and looked at this beautiful ocean, fear was put into my heart. And I realized that time was short. And I looked out across the ocean and I realized that there's going to be a tidal wave that's going to come and it's going to destroy this whole area. Then I looked up into inland, inland uh, behind the, the beach area, there was a forest and a little mountain, a little hill that went up. And I realized that if we didn't get everyone up to that mountain, lots of people were going to die. So I started telling people and saying, hey, look out, danger is coming. The water is coming. There's a big wave that's going to come. Run for the hills. Run, everyone. But nobody listened. And it was only me that was there yelling and, and shouting. And I felt a little bit embarrassed. Actually, I felt very embarrassed. I said, what if it's not true? But yet I knew in my heart it was true. And I started telling people, I said, look at the water. I said, look at the waves. I said, you see the waves as they're supposed to, they come in and they go out. They come in and they go out. But you, as we looked, you could see the water receding. And it was going way out into, into, into the ocean, the water level. And some people started to listen and they started to run. They said, yes, a wave is coming. Run, run faster. And so people started to run but there were still those that laughed and said, no, it's a beautiful day. Nothing will happen. The end is not near. But then we saw it in the distance. We saw what appeared to be a little lump on the horizon. And that, that lump started to grow. And I started telling people, look, there it is. Run, run and save yourself and save those around you. And then people saw that lump and everyone, not everyone, but but more people started to, to run and say, yes, their wave is coming. Danger's coming. We must run. And so we ran into the parking lot area. And in, in the parking lot area, there's this van and, and the engine was running. The keys were in it. And I said, let's get in this van. Let's get the children. Let's get those that are injured and put them in this van. Then we'll drive them to safety. Well, there were those that, that were were healthy and those that were adults and they wanted in the van too and I said I'm sorry let's this is just for the children and those that are injured so we quickly put children in there and there was this one child I distinctly remember it this one child that did not want to go in the van and I said get in the van save save yourself and her pa her parents wanted her to go in the van but she said, no, I'm not going. I'm going to stick with my parents. And I said, get in the van. Please get in there quick. And we convinced her and put her in the van and quickly drove away. But as we did that, we saw this wave of water come and it started to sweep across that beach area. And we started climbing up, took the van along the road and climbing up the, the mountain there beside the beach on the other side inland. And we started to go higher and higher. And we looked back and we saw this wave and it came and it, it was killing it was killing people it was taking over people as it came lots of people were dying that day and as I was driving up this hill I, I knew I did not want to get into a, a road that would go down back into the ocean so I had my phone with me and had GPS on it so I'm looking at the GPS and I'm looking at, looking at my phone and trying to drive and keep everything focused on where I'm going and not to take the wrong road and I looked and I had a perfect 
image of the GPS map. I could zoom in, zoom out, and but there's no names on it. But I, I could, I knew that map, and I said I took it and I tried to memorize it. So as I'm driving, I knew which route to take. Well, we went up and we drove for some time. We finally got to the top of that hill, and we're able to look back and to see the destruction below. The children and the injured got out of the van and they thanked me for saving them. But I remember that girl that we took last. She cried bitterly because her friends and her parents were destroyed. Then I woke up. And I remember that image of the GPS map. And after I woke up, I said, I'm going to see if I can't find that same image on Google Maps. So I took my phone out and I started to go up and down the coastline and try to find something that <laughs> that looked the same as what that image was on the on on in my dream and i found it the exact same map and it was aberdeen washington now i've never been to aberdeen and i don't know anything about tidal waves but that was a dream that god gave to me now uh, whether it was just spiritual or, or whatever that's in god's hands but that same night, I also dreamed a third dream. And in that third dream, actually, I'm not going to tell you the third dream. But I'm going to tell you this. And that is the day of the Lord is rapidly coming. The day of the Lord is near the end. We are in the end times, which means God is coming back very soon. The end of the world is very near. So the encouragement I have to each one of you is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior and be saved today. Be saved. For God so loved the world. He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on Him will be saved. Brothers and sisters, make it count. 